move note. Last night, I was at a virtual meeting with other digital counselors, and one of them mentioned a, an add-on to Chrome that I'd never heard of before, and it's called Move Note. And from what she described, it sounded like something I would really like to look into. So I'm going into Google, and I write Move Note, Google. And we have a YouTube's about it, but I'm just going to go directly to the Chrome store. It can be added to your Chrome for free. It pre helps you present your documents with video. It helps you insert a video into a, a Google Doc. So it sounds really cool. It sounds like something that will be useful for my students. I go, I click on it and yes, add. And here it adds it to my buttons. Okay, now it's blue. I can see that it's been added. And that's all. So let's try it out. It's added to my buttons. Those buttons down there, where you get all the other stuff that you've added on to your Chrome. Um, and I'm going to now go into my drive. I'm going to go into a PowerPoint that I have already in my drive. I'm going to go into Conditionals and click on Open with Move Note. Instead of Google Slides, Move Note. Let's see what it does. I don't know how I didn't know about this before. Okay, yes, you have my permission. Allow. And let's tell it to remember. And we'll close. Ah, it works. And continue. And upload slide content for my computer. Hmm. I want to upload it for my drive, but I could also do it for my computer. Okay. I thought I'd already opened it. conditions. Okay, so here's where I get to explain about the conditional tense. So, let's see how it works recording with a PowerPoint. This is actually not a PowerPoint, it's a power it's a Google Slides. So, I'm going to introduce the first condition to my students here. The conditions have two parts to them. They have a condition part of a sentence and the result. In Hebrew, both of them are said in the future tense, but in English, the condition part is not in the future. The result is in the future. So let's look at the first condition. Moshe's mother comes to a teacher meeting in the 10th grade and asks his teacher, how's my son Moshe doing? And the teacher says, well, he's a very smart boy. And if he tries, present simple, he will succeed. Future. In other words, everything's open. All chances are in front of him. And if he invests and puts in an effort, he will succeed. Second condition. In the 11th grade, the next year, the mother comes to the teacher's meeting and says, well, how's Moshe doing? And the teacher says, well, if he tried, he would succeed. Um, but he's not really trying. So maybe we can do something, one last push to get him to succeed at this. Twelfth grade. Mother comes to the teacher. So how's Moisha? And the teacher says, well, if he had tried, using past perfect, he would have succeeded, but he didn't. And it's kind of late. He doesn't really have much time. So those are the three uses 
in the sad story of Moshe in English, and I hope your stories will be much more optimistic. And now I've finished recording. I can resume if I want to or start all over, but I'm going to save and preview. So here we have it. Let's see what came out. So here I have a slideshow that I've prepared. It works. And through the slideshow, I'm going to tell a story and explain the use of the conditionals. And when we finish the story, we're going to go through it. And Okay, so we can see that it works. I can share it using Facebook or Twitter, Google+, and of course, I can send it in an email. So that's a really cool tool.